Sing me a song of a lass that is gone. Say, could that lass be I? Mary of soul, she sailed on a day over the sea to sky. Hey everyone, Alvine here. I wanted to say a huge thank you to you guys for your um, wonderful responses to my last video that I put out. Um, some of you were really touched by it and I really enjoyed hearing um, your experiences and where you were at with kind of what I was speaking about so thank you for that. Today I wanted to do the crystal and minerals tag set by Sean and Lynn of Dreaming of Avalon. If you haven't um, seen their channel yet, please go check it out. If you are interested in crystals at all, um, their channel is just amazing. Um, they both have years and years of experience and they really know their stuff. Um, and they, you can see that they really walk their talk. You know, they're both so beautiful, peaceful, loving, joyous people and it really comes across in their videos. <laughs> the elements agree. They love Sean and Lynn. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I've enjoyed watching them for years and every time I do watch their videos, you know, I, I feel this sense of peace just wash over me and I enjoy just sitting there and listening to them and being with them in that space for that time. So if you haven't seen them yet, go check them out. Um, they're amazing. So it's five questions and the first question is, how did you first get into crystals and minerals? Um, it hasn't been that long for me, just a few years, um, probably slightly longer, maybe around the same time as I kind of discovered paganism and witchcraft. Um, and I had a few friends, or have a few friends, who are quite sort of new agey, and they were really into crystals. Um, so they kind of started me out on the path, um, <laughs> on the crystal path. <laughs> um, they, you know, had collections and showed me their crystals, and I loved them. I just fell in love with them, um, and I decided that I wanted to have some of my own too. So that was probably... Yeah, it was probably about three years ago or something. I don't know, something like that. Um, the second question is, how many crystals and minerals do you have in your collection? I haven't counted. Um, ballpark figure, I think maybe like 40 or 50, maybe that many. I've got lots of like little tumbles and, you know, little crystal points and things like that. So, you know, things that I use in um, gridding or other kind of craft work. Um, yeah, so about that many. The third question is, what was your first ever crystal or mineral? I actually went out and brought myself a bunch of them all at the same time, because um, I'd wanted some for such a long time and I decided to kind of save up. And uh, the crystal shop that I went to visit was quite a distance from me, from me, but I knew that there was a lot of dodgy sort of dealers out there. Um, and Particularly in Australia, I think, you know, a lot of people get, not so much anymore over the last few years because crystals have become so popular, there's a lot more um, good dealers out there, I suppose. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of, you know, crystals from China and things like that. So they are crystals, but they're lab grown and I wanted some, you know, some of the real stuff. So I went and got myself um, a few of them all at one time. So I'll show those to you now. I don't know how we're going to go in terms of zoom. But the very, very, very first one I picked up was this really, quartz point. And I love this quartz point. It actually has, um, it has a big rainbow in it, which is just not going to pick up on the camera. <laughs> but there's a big sort of shard in there and a rainbow. So that's beautiful. And the end of it did chip slightly, which was a real pain. I was like, no, but it still worked for me. The other one was this piece of rose quartz, which isn't so pink anymore. I actually took it into the ocean with me um, some years ago before I knew that soft crystals like this 
No. <laughs> Don't put them in the ocean. Because I'd heard someone had said, oh, all crystals are good to go, you know, in salt water, and that's just not the case. Ever since then, it's sort of it lost a bit of its pinkness. That's all right. And here I have a piece of pyrite, fool's gold, that I got as well. I did some research before I went to the crystal store and kind of decided some that I would like to have. Um, and I also let them call to me as well, but few of them I knew before I picked them up. And tourmaline, which is one of my all-time favorite crystals. Hands down, I love, love black tourmaline. And that's it. Yes. <laughs> I think there might have been another two or three, but anyway. So I got a whole bunch, and after I got all these, it felt a little bit overwhelming because <laughs> I'd never worked with crystals before, so I had to tone it down and get to know them, and um, yeah, I kind of started my path out with those guys. The next question is. <gasps> If you could own only one crystal or mineral for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? I don't like these questions, but again for today, you guys know that I don't like favourites. <laughs> I don't like to pick favourites. But if today that was the decision that I needed to make, it would be this guy. My quartz generator that I've had for, I don't know, maybe on like a year now or something. Isn't he pretty? And this one does have a bunch of rainbows in it as well, um, which I don't know if they're gonna show up or not. Again, the zoom isn't great. I might get in closer later and have a look at that. Anyway, that would, that would probably be it um, today. And the very last question is, is there any crystal or mineral not in your collection you would love to have? Do you know what I really would love? Um, I have some pieces of Labradorite, but they're really tiny and they don't have a nice color to them. I really would love and have wanted for some time a big, like a decent chunk of beautifully polished Labradorite. That is probably on my wish list currently at the top, I would say. Okay, let's have a closer look. <laughs> selenite did I show that before I don't think I did anyway that was amongst one of my first two rose quartz looks very white on the camera actually and my beauty I didn't say but the reason I would probably choose this one over all others currently is because it is one of the master healers and it is so diverse um, and it's been sort of a powerful friend to me for some time. Oh, you can see a rainbow there. There you go. So that's probably why this guy. And yeah, there are several rainbows in there, which you can kind of see now. So pretty. And look what I was just gifted to. Another crow's feather. Yay. By the way, you can tell the difference between crow and raven's feathers by the bottom of them here. So crows, actually this is a raven's feather. Crows have um, like a white sort of fluff down here and ravens have gray. So there you go. So it's actually a raven's feather. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to see you do the tag as well, so let me know if you do. And I hope you are all having a spectacularly magical day. <laughs> see you guys.